How quick to judge are you? Do you see something and then just right away make a judgment about what it means, what it is, how beautiful it is, how ugly it is? Do you make that judgment pretty quick, those snap judgments? Well, you're probably like most people then, because most of us, we make those judgments on our first interactions. They call them those first impressions. And yet, what if it was a season? What if we made our first judgment based on a fall or winter season in that nature spot or that person's life? And really, we just saw a snapshot, just a glimpse of what's really going on. So right here, I'm back in Texas. This is the Divine Lake Park. It's a beautiful park I love coming to. I'll do walks and runs to this area every morning. And right now it's towards the end of October. And so as you can see, everything looks pretty yellow, pretty dry, right? So last time I was here, it was March of last year. So it's been a year and a half since, since I've been here. But when I was here in March of last year, the grass was green and there were beautiful flowers, wild flowers blooming all over the place, gorgeous flowers of all different colors. And so I'll, I'll share some pictures of that at the end of this video, the, the March picture versus the October picture. And so if I was to just judge this park based on this moment today, I'm like, oh, well, it's kind of dry. It's, it's not that beautiful. Or if I was here in March of last year and I see it, I'm like, wow, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. And then sometimes we take those two things and we, we, we judge the park based on them too. I'm like, oh, well, last time, last time I was here, there were flowers blooming everywhere. So man, the park must have done something terrible in order to, for it to look like it's looking now. But we forget the seasons. And so my intent today is to remind you that everything has seasons. And if you are finding yourself, if you make snap judgments, if your judgment is more scarcity based, more fear based, that you quickly go to the negative, just pause, take a deep breath and ask, is that true? Is there another way of looking at this? And open yourself up to different perspectives. Because if you can see things from different perspectives, that helps you to see the whole picture, or at least more of the picture, right? All people have some good in them. There's light, there's beauty. Every perspective is there for a reason. And so if you're quickly finding yourself pushing and resisting other ideas or people or places, pause and consider why is that? What is it that you're so afraid of? What are you so afraid of? And just sit with that for a moment. And what if, what if there's some truth in that other perspective? Like everybody looking at the symbol that some people say is six, some people say it's nine, some people say it's a G, some people say it's a balloon. Some people just say, oh, well, it's just ink on a paper or, or pixels on a screen. There's truth in every perspective and perspectives are tools that help us achieve goals. So if we can remember the bigger goal of humanity, if we can remember the bigger goals of this life, to learn, to grow, to expand, to learn compassion, to be able to connect, to be able to open ourselves up to different ideas and perspectives, which allows us to grow and expand, that's powerful. So today, remember that you're a miracle, that you have a purpose. You were here for a reason. You were beautiful. You were precious. You were worth it. You were worthy. I believe in you and I see you and I'm so grateful for you. So thank you for connecting with me today. If today's message was for you, go and like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with those that you feel could benefit from it. That really helps with the algorithms and getting this message out. So thank you for being you. Remember, I'm here every single day and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.